Santa. Oh. I love my kids. I really do. I spend the majority of my time with them from the moment I wake up to when I'm still wiping the crust out of my eyes and changing a diaper to forever holding my pee so my kid can have a decent nap in my arm to staring at the eternal mess while trapped on the couch with a child suckling on my teeth. There's too much sometimes too much mess too many cuddles too much love it gets overwhelming they say it takes a village to raise a child and this digital world can feel so distant it's awesome to stay connected online but it doesn't actually help with the real life stuff and my husband works a lot and i'm so grateful he is able to work as much as he does but a lot of the times he gets home just in time for night night or sometimes he misses them all together he's exhausted i'm exhausted it's just all too much but then somehow all the stars align my sister invites me to the beach on the same day grandma's schedule is clear for the day and my youngest is finally starting the weaning process finally some freedom Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, there's my sister. She's so much cooler than me. Hello. Hi. So, I got you a donut. Oh and my a camera? God. Yeah. Why? Because it's better. <laughs> Take those off. Do you don't like my sunglasses? I don't. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, there's Claire. Oh. I cannot express to you how relaxing it is to spend the day without my children. I didn't have to worry about someone running into traffic or an unexpected potty emergency or meltdowns, getting in and out of the car quickly. And the freedom just feels so freaking good. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. It's these kinds of adventures I fantasize about when I'm stuck at home with the kids driving me up the freaking wall. Being independent and free is something I completely took for granted when I was younger. Some days I would give anything to not have kids again. And sometimes I look at my sister and get completely jealous. She is 21 right now and that is the same age I gave birth to Claire. My sister is grinding. She is working really hard using every second of her day to grow her businesses, her personal brand, while still being able to juggle a social life and a steady relationship. She gets to use her time on her own terms. Sometimes I look at her and I think, man, that could have been me. I could have been building a business or a better online presence instead of chasing toddlers and wiping snot. Maybe I'd have a bigger career by now. Maybe I'd be more successful or maybe I'd just be more miserable and without direction. Because if I'm being completely honest, that is what my kids gave me, a direction for my life. See, right here, I had a moment to myself while I was out with my sister to grieve my past childless self. I miss her so much. I keep hearing more seasoned parents say, your younger self is still inside of you. She's just buried, but she'll find her way to the surface over time. Just give it time. And I'm not so sure about that. It's a nice thought though. On the drive back, I realized I had so many emotions from this day. One, I thought I was going to be exhausted because we took so many photos. Which you can find more about if you follow me on Instagram. Cheese! Please, no! I, I actually felt exhilarated. I didn't get tired at all today, even though we were running around, going to so many locations, changing outfits so many times. I never felt tired. And I think it's because staying at home with young children all day really takes an emotional and mental toll on you that no one ever seems to talk about. And I really do feel like that I get burnt out by being a mom. And the thing about being a mom is you can't take a break. And what's the number one thing professionals tell someone to do when they're feeling burnt out? Take a damn break. This break makes me feel so much more human. Hugging my kids after being away from them all day is the best. My kids, although are quite the handful, are the 
most amazing thing that has happened to me, which I know is super cliche to say, but man, <laughs> having that break from them was really nice too.